In today's wrap-up, prosecutors have appealed a court decision to reject the arrest warrant for Gagik Tarukyan. 500 oxygen concentrators have arrived in Armenia from China. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has cancelled a planned trip to Moscow to attend Victory Day commemorations. And it has emerged that wealthy backers in Russia provided the bail money for former President Robert Kocharyan. Yerevan's Court of Jurisdiction rejected an arrest warrant for business tycoon and opposition politician Gagik Tsarukyan. Tsarukyan is facing charges of illegal acquisition of land, financial irregularities worth around $60 million and vote buying by members of his prosperous Armenia party during the 2017 parliamentary elections. Parliament had already voted to lift his immunity and approved his arrest. Tsarukyan has called the charges part of a campaign of political persecution. Prosecutors have now condemned the court decision as illegal and will appeal the decision. Moreover, the spokesperson of the Prosecutor General condemned the court's decision to ignore the charges and also warned about the influence the business magnate could exert on witnesses if he is not put under arrest. The National Security Service raided Tsarukyan's mansion shortly after Tsarukyan did a televised speech where he called for the government to resign due to their handling of the epidemic. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has announced that Armenia has purchased 500 oxygen concentrators from China. The devices arrived in Yerevan aboard a special flight with 150 more expected in the coming days. Free oxygen plants were also bought with the funds coming from Armenia's state budget. This comes as Armenia confirmed 320 new cases of COVID-19, raising the total number of cases to 20,588. 129 recoveries were also reported and 10 more deaths. In other news, a group of Russian medics have arrived in Armenia to assist with the country's coronavirus response. The next group is expected sometime in July. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has cancelled a planned trip to Moscow to attend the commemoration of the 75th anniversary of Russia's victory over Nazi Germany. Pashinyan relayed his decision in a letter to Russian President Vladimir Putin, adding that the current coronavirus epidemic situation in the country was the reason for the cancellation. Civil Nets Tatul Hagopian wrote a column on the sudden decision, questioning whether other motives may have been the cause. Hagopian highlighted the tension around the trial of former President Robert Kocharyan for russo armenian relations, and that his release may have complicated relations further, but more probably the recent developments and parliamentary vote to arrest tycoon and opposition politician Gagi Tsarukyan may be more of a factor. The statements of Russian parliamentarians and the meeting between the Russian ambassador and key members of Tsarukyan's prosperous Armenia party may have been taken badly by the Pashinyan government. It has emerged that the bail money provided to pave the way for the release of former President Robert Kocharyan was provided by wealthy backers in Russia. The Court of Appeal in Yerevan approved the release of Kocharyan on Thursday 18th after $4 million worth of bail money was handed over. The second president's office stated that several wealthy individuals had provided the money, but another of his defense attorneys stated that the full amount may still be difficult to supply in what is the highest ever bail fee in Armenia's history. Kocharyan is facing charges of overthrowing the constitutional order after the disputed presidential elections in 2008 that resulted in mass protests and the killing of eight protesters and two policemen. This is Kocharyan's third release from detention in two years. Overall, he has spent more than a year and a half in detention. Emil Sanamyan, editor of the USC Institute of Armenian Studies focus on Karabakh platform and specialist on the South Caucasus, spoke with civil nets Garin Harutunyan on the recent internal political developments in Armenia, especially the current feud between Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Gagik Tsarukyan. Sanamyan commented on Pashinyan's non-compromising tactics, which have seen him make enemies with those who were supportive of the 2018 Armenian Revolution, including the church and head of the constitutional court. Sanamyan warned that Pashinyan's strategy of replacing the heads of institutions with loyalists and using his power over the NSS and police to imprison those he believes ought to be in prison may leave him at risk of being outwitted by a future populist politician.